Today I want to talk to you about biopharmaceuticals. These materials, whether they are active substances or drug products, have become the objective and output of a major and growing sector of the pharmaceutical industry's research and development activities. They really are important economically. For instance, prescription biopharmaceuticals have global annual sales in the region of $100 billion. Supporting the biopharmaceutical industry to supply safe and effective products to the marketplace requires a large number of skilled professional staff. They might be biochemists, chemists, molecular biologists, engineers or regulatory scientists to name just a few of the categories of highly trained people needed to make the biopharmaceutical industry thrive. Because the science and the regulatory framework in this industry is constantly developing, staff need training courses to keep themselves up to date and to help their careers develop. The courses may have a narrow or a broad focus and may be in areas of pure science or chemical engineering, or they may be in applied science. PharmaQMtraining.eu offers a biologicals course that could be described as one with a wide coverage of diverse products, with a blend of pure science and official regulatory information conveniently mixed together. I'll illustrate the diversity in a moment. Our intention is to guide delegates to understand the important areas that government regulators concentrate on when evaluating companies' applications for clinical trial and marketing authorization approvals. Understanding the regulatory demands on the many different products is critical to success. What about the diversity of which I just spoke? Biological pharmaceuticals encompass an amazing product diversity. There may be peptides or many different types of proteins or hormones, growth or coagulation factors or vaccines, gene or cell therapy and blood or tissue products. That is not a full list but it might give you a good idea of the huge scope of the subject. The majority of so-called conventional medicines are sometimes referred to as small molecule drugs. They are usually synthetic organic compounds or sometimes semi-synthetic ones. Generally speaking, the research and development and the regulatory approaches are well developed and well known. In contrast, biological drug substances are usually large and often very complex molecules. For biologicals there is a well known saying that process defines product. Because there are so many different types of biopharmaceutical, you won't be surprised when I say that there is also enormous diversity both in the types of manufacturing process used for the active substance and in the nature of the starting materials for these processes. Some modern industrial developments have become highly sophisticated and can involve genetic engineering as well as cell and tissue culture technologies. These raise scientific and regulatory issues of their own. And bear in mind that many biopharmaceutical companies are working at the frontiers of science. Compared to the work done on conventional small molecules, both the chemical and biochemical and the non-clinical development programs, which feed companies' knowledge databases about their products, often require significant modifications of approach. For instance, for biologicals, there is usually the analytical need for detailed characterization studies to be undertaken, and for special risks such as potential immunogenicity to be investigated and avoided. When companies need to extend manufacturing production capacity or change the manufacturing process, the issue of comparability has to be addressed. Remember what I said about process defines product and you will realise why comparability is so important. With all the intricacies I have briefly mentioned, it is true that as always in regulatory affairs, the key issues come down to the quality, safety and efficacy of medicines 
that society uses to treat or prevent disease. Each company has to show that it can with consistency produce batches of product with all the required properties, including performance and stability under defined storage conditions. It's a mammoth task requiring enormous efforts to be made by all concerned. In our course you will become familiar with the relevant articles in European Union legislation affecting pharmaceuticals and learn why and how biologicals and biological medicines are treated differently from non-biologicals. There are many official guidelines to help you both to interpret the meaning of the law when developing a biological medicine and to compile acceptable investigational medicinal product and marketing authorization dossier applications to assist you in gaining approvals from the authorities. We will help you to navigate these tasks. Many of you will be working for innovator companies but there is a growing generic interest in biologicals when innovators licensing exclusivity periods approach their end. When compared to small molecule generics, there are different legal and scientific requirements for biogenerics, also known as similar biological medicinal products or as biosimilars. You might need to know what these are and we will tell you. Another subject common to all biological and biotechnology products, but also with much diversity, concerns the potential for serious contamination. Preventing and removing contamination threats or realities are areas of critical interest, especially to the authorities, for ensuring the quality and safety of biological medicines. Formulation work intended to produce stable, bioavailable, convenient, safe and efficacious medicinal products is often more demanding for biological products containing proteins or other macromolecules than it is for conventional medicines. It is usually critical to maintain the tertiary structures or shapes of biological active ingredients throughout manufacture, formulation and product shelf lives to ensure efficacy and safety. There are many other subjects to consider where biopharmaceuticals are concerned. If your work impacts in one way or another on the many stages of product development prior to or even after regulatory approval, our course will be full of valuable information for you. The training is delivered by very experienced lecturers, most if not all of whom have a background in official licensing activities. I hope to welcome you to our next biologicals course.